Hi folks, so the question we have in front of us here today guys is from the oblique plane topic okay and uh, where we are going to basically do point location of a lamina to find it in our plan view okay and we're also going to have to get the true shape of that lamina but we're, we're going to do that true shape not by rebatment but by using an auxiliary view okay so we can see here guys we have the traces okay of an oblique plane the vertical trace here which is where an oblique plane crosses the vertical plane we've got the horizontal trace down here in our plan view uh, where the oblique plane will cut through the horizontal plane and we've also got the elevation view of our lamina and what we first have to do is we have to find the plan view of that lamina using points location so uh, in doing that what we're going to do is let's say f zoom from point one first i'm going to go parallel to my vertical trace okay parallel to my vertical trace uh, from point one i'm going to project that down to the xy line i'm going to do the same with three while i'm at it and i'll do the same with two i have it all done at once so there's three done two done okay but just using point one as my example what i'm going to do now is where point one went parallel to the vertical trace project it down to my horizontal trace okay and project it across and where point one projects down probably didn't bring it down far enough how far enough i should say Take this across a little bit further we can locate point one in our plan view okay that is all done by actually what we're doing is we're taking a vertical cutting section and anytime you take a vertical cutting section through an oblique plane uh, where you go through the point okay it is going to be a parallel line to the vertical trace in your elevation view and in your plan view it's actually going to be horizontal line okay so that's point one in our plan view found now what we're going to do is we're going to locate point three by the same method obviously we went down parallel to the vertical trace first of all check three down and three across so there's our point three and now finally point two it's the horizontal trace there check that down as well <clears throat> and there we go there's point two so having found the points of the lamina, what I can do is I can actually heavy that in. 2 to 3, 2 to 1, and then 1 to 3. Okay, that is the plan view of our lamina got by point location. Okay, now at this point guys, uh, we have done the true shape of a lamina by rebatment method, where we took a vertical height here, we were batted around and we got the vertical trace and basically what we did was we flipped that plane over until it was flat in the ground okay and uh, the only reason i want to do this because i want to show you another method for getting the true shape and it's true auxiliary views okay so what we're going to do once again starting off and i'm going to use a green here okay and i'm going to take a vertical height okay same thing i'm going to take a vertical height you can take it anywhere along the line okay i'm going to take a roughly a good distance in i think that's too short so i always like to come in a nice bit so I'm going to take that height from there, okay, that height right there. I'm going to take that height on my compass, and I'll just mark that and have it ready on my compass. So this height here, I'm going to take that on my compass and have it ready, because that's a height, okay, of a point that is on my vertical trace. So I'll have that ready. And what I want to do now is, just using a simple bit of sliding set squares, okay, I'm going to project up an auxiliary view okay perpendicular <coughs> to the horizontal trace because technically what i want to do is i want to get the vertical trace as an edge view okay sorry not the vertical trace the oblique plane as an edge view okay so to get that as an edge view what i'm doing is i'm looking in along the horizontal trace because the horizontal trace is actually a true length okay in our plan view and when you look at the horizontal trace as a true length and you project it up okay in an auxiliary view you're going to get that trace as a point view and then we're going to take the point that we have up here and we will see the oblique plane as an edge view so check that up a little bit and i'm going to set up an x1 y1 there okay and didn't need to go up that high i'll take it up here a little bit take it out of the way okay so there we go i have now set up an x1 and yeah that should be enough and a y1 okay so that is my auxiliary view there all right now, HT, we know the trace T is on the ground, okay? 
So we know that's there, okay, because that's the height of it. And H, even though it's this far down, it's actually on the ground, okay, because it's a trace on the ground. So that there, I'm actually going to say that's HT, and it's HT as a point view. Very, very important, okay? So we're seeing this line here, HT, as a point view, okay? Now what we're going to do is we are going to project up parallel to our horizontal trace, okay? Parallel to our horizontal trace, from where this point was here, okay, I'm going to project that up, and what I'm going to do is using the height here, this height here, take that height, and I'm going to mark that up off my x and y one, okay, so there we go, project from the plan, take our heights from the elevation, we project it from the plan, we take our heights from the elevation, and at that point there, okay, at that point there, that is a point on our vertical trace, okay, Therefore, that line there is actually an edge view of my oblique plane. Okay, so I'm going to write that in. Edge view of oblique plane. I'll say VTH. Because we have HT down here, and then we have... Sorry, I should I don't know why I was doing that. Sorry, that should be the vertical trace there. So that's a V. Apologies for that. Okay, so there is the edge view of our oblique plane. Now we know that our lamina is uh, resting on that oblique plane. It is sitting on top of it. So we need to find the points 1, 2, and 3 on that as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to project them up, and we will see them as points on it, okay? So parallel, once again, to the horizontal trace. So from 3, I project that up. That is where a tree is on the oblique plane. So I would mark that there. Tree. Okay? I'll do the same with two and one. Two. And then the exact same with one. And there we go. Okay? So mark them. Two and one. Okay? Now, as I said, we are seeing this oblique plane as an edge view. Therefore, we're seeing the lamina, which is resting on the oblique plane. That is also an edge view. And the lamina is going from 1 all the way here down to 3. Okay? So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to project another auxiliary view, a second auxiliary view, perpendicular to our oblique plane. Because we want to see the true shape of that lamina. And the only way you can see a true shape is by looking directly at it. So we're going to look out perpendicular to that. So once again, same thing. We want to set up an X1, Y1. Parallel, first of all to the oblique plane, okay, the edge view of the oblique plane, so I'll just mark it out a little bit, don't have to come out too far, and I'll only take it because I only need the lamina, so I'll take it between 1 and 3, so I'll do it from here, so this would be what's known now as an x2, y2, okay, and I'm going to project out my points while I'm at it as well, so, perpendicular, take out 3, Take out two and take out one. Okay, so the way to actually find these points, guys, is what you do is when you do the second auxiliary view, it's always the second view back. So if you think the first view back, okay, was this one, okay, then the second view back is the distance from the x1, y1, okay, back to here. So those distances, literally from x1, y1, this line here, the first view back was this one. Then the second view back is from the x1, y1 back to here. Okay. So what we're going to do is take the distance for one. Now these could be quite long. I'm just thinking here. I might actually set up that distance there. You can see it there for two is very, very long. So if I just come out here, you can see it's going way out of my page there. It'll actually, it'll, it'll work actually. Now that I'm seeing it, it actually will fit on the screen. I uh, just have to extend out um, my lines here. Usually what you could do is you could set up a guide uh, marker, okay, a datum line to take your measurements from, which you probably keep it a little bit closer. And I'll do that in a second, but I'm going to just take them as is. So as I said, you take them from the measurements back. So to find one, come to the last x1, y1, take that back to your point one here. So that distance right there, okay, I'll take that in my compass, follow it up to one here, out to the x2, y2, mark one. So there's one there, okay? And I'm going to do the same for number two. So as you can see, this is the longest one. Just trying to get that distance there on my compass. There we go. Up to two. Out to the X2, Y2. 
project it out. And then finally, three, remember not taken from here, it's from the X1, Y1. There we go. Up to three here, out on the X2, Y2. And there we go. And I have now found one, two, and three. Okay. So at that point there, now I can actually draw that in. And what I've now found is the true shape of my lamina okay so that's just showing you an alternative method other than the abatement method to be able to complete uh, the true shape okay so I'll just write that in there I'm gonna say true shape of lamina okay so little bit in that there guys um, depends really what which one you prefer and which one you're more used to okay uh, you can do alternative methods as I said the auxiliary or we could do the abatement method now another thing I could have done there you can see there's quite a distance between my second auxiliary view uh, coming out to the lamina here so to shorten that distance what you could have done is with your x1 y1 here you could have literally just brought that back very very close there and what you could do is this okay so I'll just do that very quickly not going to take the measurements again but just to show you what you could have done from the X1, Y1, I could have gone parallel to that, okay, and I'll put this in green, and I'm going to put it in dotted, I don't know why I'm doing a center line, okay, I could have put that there, okay, and what I would call that is datum, okay, datum, X1, Y1, okay, it's a datum x1 y1 and let's say for the distance of 3 okay I would literally just have taken that distance there okay and then come up here to 3 and marked it out uh, for 2 it would have been the distance from here out to 2 okay and then come up here and just marked it out and then for the distance of 1 it would have been the distance from here to here okay and then come up here and marked it out and it would have given me the exact same result as this only it would have been in closer okay and sometimes bringing it a little bit closer is neat and tidy but I just said I'd leave it because it's still fitted on my page. Okay, I uh, hope you found that helpful, guys. That is just an alternative method to be able to get the true shape of your lamina. Okay.